That was rough. Then again, I had, like, what, 2 HP? Go figure. I think it only did 10 damage to me. But I didn't need more. But yeah, there's more roguelikes than I can cover in a given day or week. I honestly, uh, so we're getting close to the end of Dungreed on my channel. Uh, I think I've only got two episodes left, and then I'm probably just going to shelve it until they either add, like, a until they either add more, or they, uh, they open it back up for modding again. And with that gone from my list, I'm probably either going to want to play more roguelikes, or, uh... It, hard to say. The other thing I want to potentially do is, uh... Not shelve Slay the Spire. Uh, but maybe slow it down a little bit. The views have definitely dried up compared to the heyday of January. Which is fine. Yeah, what else is there to do in Dungree? Nothing. It just was super popular on my channel. Um, ow. I hate these things. It, it's one of those where I'm a little bit gentle. Mustache extension. Okay, I'm gonna have to try and get that. Got me from there, really. I'm impressed and offended. Uh, but yeah, I'm totally done with Dungreed. It just was stupid popular, so I was just like, alright, well, I'll just, uh, I'll just do this. Um, but yeah, there's, there's nothing left. Have I ever done a speedrun of anything? No, I haven't. I'm not really that interested in speedruns, to be totally honest. They're generally just not my thing. Mainly, it would require... Uh, a speedrun of any game would require me to play through it multiple times to master it. And I... Honestly, I'm more about... Uh, ah, mustache extension is too pricey. Alright, whatever. <sighs> but uh, it would require me to play, play through a game multiple times to master it. Um, and that's difficult. Oh, no. Oh, double no. Oh, piss. How many of them are there? There's like three or four of them and I have nothing. All right. Well, let's just restart. I don't have anything for you. Yeah, Isaac races would be the closest thing to speedruns. And even then, like, it was barely a speedrun. We weren't particularly, uh... Uh, we weren't particularly great at going fast. We were just good at finding more interesting runs than each other, ish. But uh, now I've never done a speed run. What I might do someday is just look up uh, speed run strats for a game, kind of like uh, old money causes pain on contact. Oh, eh, not that interesting those. I don't know what having extra ammo would do either. Yeah, so that's the trick with the uh, the bomb critters. Uh, you just w walk or dodge past them. Or shoot them if it's convenient, but if it's not convenient, you can just let them die in your wake, I guess. Would be the phrase. There's somebody over here. Just another bomb. Anybody else? No, it doesn't sound like it. That's interesting. You only get one double jump. Uh, so wall jumps... Wall jumps do not refresh them. There might have actually been something up there. I don't know. I don't know how much this game attempts to have secret stuff hidden around. Yay, plus five ammo packs for the non-existent guns that I have. Yeah, so all Sawblade guys, cannon will, like, just hit you. Incinerator. With a chance of certain death. Okay, so just 3% uh, chance to instantly kill an enemy. Cool. I don't know if that works on champion enemies. It looks like most enemies actually do contact damage. Because they uh, attack you instant instantly. 
As soon as as soon as you like get within their hitbox radius, anyway. Okay. Oh. Okay. There we go. That was a hundred scrap in there. That was worth. Ow! 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 Yeah. Oh my God. Why? That sucked. Well. I assume can't afford anything. I could gamble, but I don't really know what that's gonna do. Be insane if you could one-shot a boss. Be cool! Okay, good. Circuits carry over. Yeah, spiked floor and mobs. And, like I was just assuming, the mobs do just do contact damage. They have an animation when you touch them. But it's not, uh, the only way you avoid it is by not getting near them ever. Which is actually kind of fine. Ugh, stop giving me ammo packs. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna have to spend some upgrades on... Upping my raw damage. Now, there was a guy over here, yeah? Just one, though. Nothing more. Save up dash for cooldown reduction is an idea. Yeah, that might not actually be a bad idea, because it can reduce it uh, down by half a second, which would actually would make a fair difference here. Oh, come on. Really? Ah! At least my pickup radius is particularly large. I might actually have to turn the heat down. It is getting toasty in here. It'd be lovely if I could actually get the ability to start with every every kind of gun, eventually. That would that would make a massive difference. But that is fine. Hello, big and punchy. Uh oh. Ow! Hit, hit me from there. I guess I should have just gone past Big and Punchy and kept shooting the, the bomb dude. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it's kind of dumb that the loot crates will give uh, ammo if you've only got the starter gun. Like, you could very easily just set up a boolean. Does character only have starter gun? Yes? Okay. Then give gun. Otherwise, give ammo. Or maybe gun too. Who knows? Uh, but that is kind of an odd design choice. I'm a little bit disappointed you can't bait the, uh, the little bomb bots into blowing up their, uh, their allies. I think that'd actually be kind of helpful. Okay, let's go back. Ow. Oh, come on. Are you... Okay. There's spikes in the ceiling. Alright, what do we got here? A rocket launcher. Or Gatling. Let's get Gatling and Toxic Tobacco. The rocket launcher scares me. Every time your combo reaches a new multiplayer. Nope, that's not helpful. I deserve that, I guess. Okay. Let's try that again. I mean, it's one of those that I know if I just grind enough, I will be strong enough to just, like, completely wreck this game. Uh, like, Neon Chrome. Oh, that reminds me! Uh, after this, we're gonna- I'm probably gonna spin the, uh, roguelike roulette a couple of times today. Uh, just because I- I almost- we did a lot of, like, lengthy, uh, s mini-series. And I kinda wanted to do a couple- a uh, bunch of, like, three-episode, uh, three-four-episode kind of combinations. Uh, but can somebody remind me to put te Tesla versus Lovecraft? That didn't work out the way I wanted it to at all. Uh, but remind me to put Tesla versus Lovecraft on the on the list because I keep forgetting about that one. I might go back to Neon Chrome at some point. Uh, kind of depends on if my save file is still there. Okay, well, there's the shotgun. 
I need five more and I can get it. Okay, that'll that'll help. Shotgun's a pretty good gun. I think that there is an enemy over on the left. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, because currently my basic weapon's a little bit crappy. Okay. So let's grab the shotgun. Only 45 ammo. Uh, how much for the ammo pack? 290. I might pick that up. Watched Keith playing this yesterday. I thought this would be good for the ro uh, roulette. Faster than I thought. I thought so too, and then the ru the roulette was like, Welp, I was watching too, and I thought so I thought so as well. Uh, it came as a bit of a surprise to me. I, like... I have no control over what the roguelike roulette chooses. I really don't. So if it decides, uh, bot-like, then it is decided bot-like. Okay, I'm a little bit worried about contact damage with this thing. Contact? Uh, I'm worried about blasting myself. Shouldn't be a problem. I mean, now that I've got two actual guns, we should have a much easier time of things. And yeah, that double jump does not feel good. Jumping in this game feels really unsatisfying. Something went bump in the distance. Got 15 shots left, and then I have to switch to the... Okay, there's a big guy back there. I should probably... I should probably just switch back to this for destroying th these guys. I wonder how many... I'm assuming there's, what, eight total weapons in this game? Fat Lady, Inverted Magnet, or Gatling. Let's get... Gatling and... Do we want Inverted Magnet? Let's go Inverted Magnet. Let's see how, what that does. Dealing 21 damage... Oh, okay. So... I just have, like, a, a pulsing aura. That will push them back. Good to know. Damn it. I thought I was ready to dodge that one. I guess not. Okay, there's more up there. I think I'm gonna have to go around... I'm sorry? Ah! Yeah, contact damage is... Doesn't feel very good. The jumping, just in general, doesn't feel good. It feels very, uh... It feels too weighty. Did I kill it? Okay, now it's dead. Now, can those things... Oh, no, there's multiple. I was wondering why I was getting missiles on top of everything else. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do we have down here? Oh, there's a... There's a dude there. Okay. Oh, I see where that guy is coming from. I need some more ammo here. We've got a nice uh, diversity of weaponry. But they're all running a little low. Enough. Nope. 
It is nice that you don't have to reload. I'm hearing all of these things. Like, I feel like I'm gonna have to double back on myself to get to those other ones. Maybe. Okay, well, let's just sit here. Just hold... hold the line. He'll die at some point. Okay, I wanted to go check this. Aha! Ah! Okay, we get Gatling upgrade. So there are secrets in this game. Okay, so smoking might kill them. What's this do? Fat lady. 10% chance to stun an enemy that touches you for two seconds. Bleh. Well, I guess I'll use the Gatling for a while. It does decent amount of damage and I've got a lot of ammo for it. Because at this point, it's probably kind of irresponsible for me to use my, um... Uh, for me to use my regular gun. Even if it is obviously the most ammo-efficient thing I've got. Oh, no! That's just not fair! I'm at 3 HP. Well, at least I got 10 circuits to work with. Okay, and I've got more on the left. Well, at least I've got a lot of money, which I will gladly spend on things. Hello. Laser monocle. Let's move on. I'm not... What does laser monocle do? With every fifth kill, shoot a laser from your monocle, straight line dealing 10 damage to everything in your path. It's kind of okay. Don't really care about either or any of these. Yeah, actually already running low on ammo for the Gatling gun. I'm just going to run around with rockets for a while. Oh, he's not dead. I'm just scared. I've got three HP. Anything and everything can kill me. Oh. So far, so good. I was really banking on getting a health orb at some point, but... Nothing. Sailed right over his head. Ugh. There's a rocket drone. Okay, good. Another shot. Okay, where's the other one? Yeah, unfortunately, they can shoot me from off screen because I kind of wish this game would zoom out a little bit more. Just, just a smidge. Okay, what's he got? Gatling level 3, ice cream gun, mustache extension. I've got enough money for... Ye I get Gatling level 3, but I'm not sure if it's really helpful for me. So let's get mustache extension and ice cream gun. Let's see what they do. 5% chance to give a 30% attack speed, and, uh, ice cream. F fifth shot has a chance to st stun an enemy on hit. Okay. Okay, good. Rocket launcher knocks him back. 
unfortunately, I'm gonna have to go back to just the basic gun for this. I'm almost out of rockets, too. We have not found an ammo pack in ages. I just need one or two. Yeah, this is this is kind of the same uh same little conundrum that I run into. Ah, oh, come on. Uh, this is a little a conundrum. Is that the word I want to use? The problem I run into in um Gungeon too. You run out of ammo and you're just like ah. Oh. Okay. I mean, it feels like going dash cooldown is probably the most helpful. Boy, next one's gonna be pricey. Still, two and a half seconds should help. I wonder if you can get it so that you have instantaneous dash cooldown. That'd be neat. All right, uh, let's see. Let's hope we can get some better guns. As usual, contact damage. It would be so much more compelling if the enemies actually had, like, uh, specific attack patterns and stuff. Like, uh, you know, charge attacks. Kind of like the, uh, the saw blade guy. Does. There we go. Got it. Let me see. The ammo isn't too bad in Gungeon if you're accurate or the Marine. Uh, yeah, but like, I'm not the most accurate, and I don't want to just only play as the Marine. I don't know. It... It felt... I didn't enjoy ammo management in, uh, in Gungeon. I think a lot of it had to do with the fact that there were so many joke weapons that weren't good. Like... I can count on my... I can't count the number of times I've I've gotten the t-shirt cannon. It was so prevalent. But, like, some of the better guns? I only maybe ever got, like, two or three times. Um, which was my grump with the game. Because it was like, yeah, it's, it's neat. But, uh... So stingy for... For the good stuff that... I don't know. It just didn't feel as fun. T-shirt has good knockback. It does, yeah, but if you're up against a boss, knockback isn't exactly something you care too much, too deeply about. Like, I I cannot... Uh, let's get the incinerator. I can't... Uh, I can't tell you how many times I'm, uh, I've gone into, like, a boss fight with only the t-shirt cannon and a bunch of other empty guns, and it's just like... I, uh... I don't know. There, there's a certain point where you draw the line, you're like, this is cool, but it's... It, it feels like all the, the cool bits are, are locked away for some reason. It's like, oh, you wanted, uh... Ah, uh, why do we keep getting these ammo packs? It'd actually be really cool if ammo packs were a consumable resource. Instead of... I mean, I guess it is, kind of, but... Ammo packs before I even have the chance to get a gun just feels cheap. Oh, that's interesting. He hadn't noticed me yet, so he didn't actually attack me. Um, but yeah, I just felt like I was always struggling to have a good time in Gungeon. Whereas, like, uh, take Nuclear Throne, for example. Almost every weapon felt very viable in that game. Like, you could have a run with the shotgun, a slugger, the, uh, the crossbow, so on and so forth, and every gun felt like it had a build and a use, and if you were if you were careful, you'd almost never run out of ammo for them. Unless, of course, you were rolling Gatling Gun, at which point, well, you know what you're getting into. And so that was... that was kind of what killed Gungeon for me. What I might do if I play Gungeon again is just, uh, make it so I have... infinite ammo or something. I don't know, I know that's not the most exciting thing. But that's, like, the only way I'm gonna be too interested in the game. If I could just get, like, you know, three guns and have to cycle between all of them, uh, and not have to worry about resorting back to my basic pistol, I don't think I'd mind.
Okay, there we go. Yeah, unfortunately, I haven't heard if there's any, like, uh, major Gungeon mods. I know there was, like, one or two, but they looked too... Uh... Too either jokey or overpowered, and I just wanted, like, a 50% increase on ammo drops. And maybe, you know, more fun guns than usual. I still like the game, and I, like, respect respect it for what it is. But it's, it's kind of, like, in the same vein as Fury. Which is... A game that is just difficult enough that by the time I'm good at it, uh, I'm going to hate it. Because, like, I was watching, uh... I was watching Sleep Cycles play, and it was incredible. He was just running around with just the basic pistol and just wrecking things. Because he could avoid, like, every hit, you know, with ease. I'm not Sleep Cycles. Nor do I want to be, because there's already a Sleep Cycles. Plasma Gun! Ooh! That's neat. I was actually watching Sleep Cycle. Ah! It's not dead yet. I thought it was dead. Let's see, I can mod it myself or have a modder do it. Maybe? I don't know how easy it is to mod. I could look into it. I I want to learn how to mod someday. I just, uh... Oh shit, this thing has a ton of ammo. I guess we have been picking up a bunch of... Oh! I wonder if all those ammo drops actually carry over. Like, if you haven't grabbed a gun yet? Uh, if you don't have a gun yet, I wonder if those ammo drops just... Let's see, if I pick up a shotgun, let's see if I have just a shit ton of ammo. With a dude, Last Grey Wolf has a thousand win streak. Christ. I, I don't know how many of you guys have seen me play, uh... Uh, Binding of Isaac, or even Slay the Spire to some degree. I don't really care about winning. I care more about enjoying myself, and so, like, the idea of having an a thousand win streak is just like, ah, uh, I can respect the man for having that, but I myself don't think I will ever be able to do that. This does kind of look like the Wanderbot gun. I don't show, show, uh, my old Tower of Gun art off very often, so I very rarely have, like, the, the design. Oh, yeah, so ammo pickups... Ammo pickups count. Even if you don't have the gun, you have a shit ton of ammo for it. Oh, that's cool. Stop counting, but you most likely will never be beat. That is ridiculous. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm just... I don't care that much about, like, uh... Victory. I'm much more of a, like, I'm here to have fun kind of person. And so that's why, like, uh, Tower of Guns appealed to me. Because, yeah, I won, like, a lot of those runs. But I lost a number. And it didn't bother me at all. Ah! Unfortunately, that dash sucks. Okay, whatever. <sighs> I could just save up for some more dash cooldown. Getting that down to a second would be helpful. Dash distance could be kind of interesting. Thirteen. How are you supposed to get some of these up? This feels <laughs> kind of awful. Because keep 20% of scraps isn't really that helpful. Well, do I just save it up? Let's just save it up. 